What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the NBA 2K16 Knicks My League. We are here in Game 4, the first round of the NBA playoffs. Taking on the Boston Celtics, as you saw last episode, we dominated them. And in both simulation games, we won by at least 20 points in both games. So we'll see how this game goes, but it really doesn't look like the Celtics are playing very well on offense or defense. That They've allowed more than 100 points in every game and scored less than 80 in every game, I also believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, but they've been outscored by at least 20 in every game this series so far, but they get off to a hot start now, up 10-4. to 4. Carmelo Anthony coming in, and he gets right past all of the defense and scores a basket right there. 10-6 to 6 so far in the game, and now David Lee missing a short-range jumper right there. Robin Lopez out to a follow up to Avery Bradley, stops and pops for a three, and it is now just a one-point game for the Celtics and Avery Bradley. The former Celtic having a good showing so far, and Carmelo Anthony had the other eight points that Avery Bradley didn't have on that three. No one else is really doing anything. Isaiah Thomas works his way into the paint right there and gets a short bucket right there. 16-12 Celtics now as Cody Zeller, or Tyler Zeller, excuse me, gets that one, but Taj Gibson picks up the rebound after he missed that one. Jerry Grant now over to Aaron Aflalo, takes a jump shot, and that is good. 18-14 to 14 now, the Celtics would take a timeout right there, but they are up by four, and now there we go down to Tyler Zeller, and he scores that layup on that underneath the basket opportunity right there. Now down in the low post to Kristaps Porzingis, makes a nice little turnaround jump shot over Taj Gibson. R.J. Hunter now shooting the ball, misses it. Porzingis rebound out to Jerry Grant, up to K.J. McDaniels, back to Sasha Vujicic, and a nice display of passing right there by the Knicks as everyone pretty much got involved in that. And now on the break, Kristaps open for a jump shot, and he makes that one. 25-22 now, and now R.J. Hunter once again shooting that one, and it goes in. 25 to 24 that was the only shot rj hunter would make as you'll see in a graphic later but kj mcdaniel's going around the screen from bismack biombo right there and we're going to talk about bismack biombo a little bit he had a nice coming out party in this game he finished with a double double um and i really have cha kind of changed my stances he was just a deadline runner. i'd really be interested in keeping him now he does have a player option for next season so i imagine that he'll take it but if not i would really like to sign him to a long-term deal as our backup center maybe like a three or four year pack because I think he really changes the game with his rebounding and defense off the bench. He's really like an energy guy. He's not, you know, any sort of stud or anything, but he has really drastically improved our defense off the bench. But uh, I, I'm really considering re-signing him. Uh, it's, he's a very dynamic player. Not, not going to score very much, but he does get a lot of hustle points. So as you'll see in some highlights later on. But Melo now getting a pull-up J right there, and that's a very good example right there what I was talking about with Bismack Biombo. Picks up the rebound and just dunks it back home. No effort really on his part at all required. He just scored an easy basket, and that's really what we need him to do is get those easy baskets. Now, RJ Hunter missed another shot right there. I don't know what happened to the person, uh, James Young, who was starting at shooting guard last game. I really have no clue, but anyway... Uh, I didn't check the injury report or anything, so I'm not 100% sure on that. But Mello right there, uh, playing nice defense. Patrick Beverly gets the rebound, and he's going to run it all the way home and score a layup right there, his first bucket of the game. 48-41 now as we, or as the Celtics have the ball, and Dave Lee makes a turnaround jumper right there. Down by three now. The Knicks have the ball. Uh, they're up three. The Celtics are down three. Avery Bradley, nice spin move, and he gets an and one right there. Makes the layup inside. He was really contributing very heavily this game, not just on defense as usual, but he had a few offensive points as well. And Taj Gibson gets his own rebound right there. Robin Lopez is just out of position. Now Melo out to Aaron Aflalo in the corner for three, and he nails that one, so it's up by five again. We'd be up by three at half, shooting 50% from the free throw line, but we are shooting 53% from the field and holding the Celtics to 45% shooting, which isn't the greatest as a defense, but we have been really hot shooting so far, and we've really needed it. We would have been down by a lot if we didn't get off to such a hot start shooting the ball. Aaron Aflalo left wide open for three once again, and he nails that one, 59-50. Now it's 63-54 after a bunch of free throws on both sides. Aaron Aflalo now over to Avery Bradley, and he gets another and one, his second of the game so far. And now... Uh, Someone, I don't actually know who that was, scores for the Boston Celtics. Now make it a 10-point game, and he scores once again. I think it's Amir Johnson. I'm not sure, though. 
Uh, that's who it looks like. Though. Chris stops with the ball now. He's working his way inside. Takes a pull-up jump shot, and it is Amir Johnson as he just fouled Porzingis on that last play. Jerry Grant now, and he passed a nice pass down low to Carmelo. Has 22 so far on the game. He started out very hot, and he has continued his great day so far as Isaiah Thomas makes a nice interior entire interior shot on that layup right there and now Bismack Biombo gets the ball down low and a whiff by Tyler Zeller leads to a dunk for him and now it, Isaiah Thomas making another layup he's really performing very well for the Celtics so far and now KJ McDaniels wide open for three he's gonna drain that one 78 to 67 now and Tyler Zeller makes this shot right here Bismack Biombo went a little bit too far by, beyond the basket and now a nice block from Kristaps Porzingis over to Vujicic, over to McDaniels, and he's going to work his way into the paint. Not quite the dunks that we're used to seeing from him with his athleticism, but still a nice play nonetheless. Now Jay Crowder getting a layup right there in transition. 75-83, to 83, the Knicks have the lead so far at this point in the game. And now Jay Crowder open for three once again, being defended by KJ McDaniels, and he is going to create space for himself with a step-back move right there. Now it's just a six-point game after exchanging free throws. And now it's just a four-point game after Tyler Zeller scores on that layup right there. Five points now as a nice spin move for that player. I don't, don't didn't see who that was. But Mello working his way inside, and he is going to get a layup right there and make it a five-point game once again. 91-86, Isaiah Thomas passing it down to David Lee makes a nice short jumper right there. Three-point game. And now Patrick Beverly with it is going to take the three right there. You give him enough space, and if you give him enough space, he's going to make that shot 10 times out of 10 as he is a great three-point shooter. And Carmelo gets it now, passes it down low to Chris Stops Porzingis, and he puts that one in, and it looks like we've taken all the life out of the Celtics. Running the fast break on a steal right here. Bismack Biombo goes over to Carmelo Anthony, and it's now a 10-point lead, and it would just get uglier from there. The game would finish 107-94, to so not quite the blowouts that we had seen for the rest of the series, but still, the Knicks sweep the Boston Celtics in four games, and they're going to get extended rest before they head out on the road to Miami, as you'll see the next episode in the playoff tree. We will be taking on the Miami Heat in the second round, and they have home home court advantage as they were the two seed and we were the three seed despite having the same record, something that I've gone over already. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time for more. New York Knicks playoff basketball.